In the last episode, we have upgraded the video intercom system from this 20 or 25 year old system to a brand new, nice 21st century VTO. Now, you remember that there was this mysterious cable that I found. It turned out it was a UTP cable that was going from home to the outside. So I was extremely, extremely lucky because I wanted to achieve this. I wanted to be able to see on the monitor what's going on outside of the house. So I went outside to fix the cable on the other side. And of course with me was my favorite PFM906. That also has a little reminder and a diagram of the RJ45, which of course you don't need it, but it's, it's, it's good to have it there just in case. So I fixed the cable and then I wanted to check if I did a good job because the cable is quite old. I wanted to make sure that everything works and it actually goes through. So again, I used the PFM906 to do that, to double check if the cable, if well, first of all, if I fixed the RJ45 connector well, and second of all, if the cabling actually goes through to home, if, there, if it's not broken or anything like that. Fortunately, it was okay. So it's time to get up on the ladder and install the camera. The camera of my choice was the 5449, which is the full color camera, four megapixel, with AI, EPOE, and again, amazing full color sensor. That was the camera of my choice. I wanted to see clearly what's happening day and night in color. Of course, I used the PFM906 to check the camera angle to make sure that everything is just the way I want it. And that's it. I fixed the camera, fixed the screws, and we're good to go. Because the camera has the full color sensor, you can see that it actually performs really great, even in the late evening. But then, if I already have a cable outside, I thought it would be nice to have more cameras, but I only have one cable. So, my savior this time was the amazing PFT1300. This little extender that is a PoE extender. So thanks to that, you can actually connect three cameras, and I have over here, you can connect three cameras with just one wire. So you connect the switch to it, then the camera right next to it, and you have an output for the next camera. It has a DIN rail, which is quite handy, but the best part is it fits beautifully inside our junction boxes because they are designed to actually carry it inside. So we have a little dock, and then you can just put that right in there. It fits right in, you can connect everything, it's a nice and clean installation that we all like. So that's exactly what I did. I, I fit that inside, I connected the 5449, and then I connected the cable for the next camera. Now it's time to connect it to the switch. You have that orange high PoE port. Everything is working beautifully. All right, we're set, time to connect the next camera. The next camera of my choice was the TIOC camera. And why do we call it TIOC 3-in-1 camera? Because it has everything you need in one device. So, you have the active deterrence, so you have the red and blue light. It also has a white LED because it's a full color camera, so you can just use the white LED and still have a colorful image at night. But it also has a very loud speaker, so you can speak through your phone, you can scare somebody off, you can have an alarm. So I've connected the camera. You see that we have the PFT1300 here because we want a third camera. So again, we have a little daisy chain. First camera, PFT1300, uh, and then another one, and then we have three cameras, so everything is connected nicely and the camera is ready to operate. The alarm message you can set to whatever you'd like. It can be any pre-recorded messages that we have in the device. You are under surveillance. But you can record the message yourself, whatever you want it to be. It can be nice or, or not so nice. So when the night comes, the camera can automatically 
turn on the white LED lights so you have some support even in very very dark environments. And you get a nice and clear image day and night. Now a third camera that I've picked is my personal favorite, it's the new Eureka series, the BF1241 that I really love. So I put it to the back, installed very easily, connected it, and we have again three cameras just with one wire coming from the house. And that camera gives you a visual, it gives you a thermal image, so you can see even if somebody is hiding in the bushes as you saw in the previous videos, and you also have the active deterrence, you have the AI analytics, all-in-one device that it's actually affordable, finally. So you have a thermal device that anybody can install. So just like that, we've upgraded the video intercom solution and then added some cameras. So now everything can be viewed from the, from the monitor and can be viewed on the application and the NVR. So I guess we can say, house secured. If you want to have a list of the cameras that were used and all the other devices, of course look underneath the video in the description, you will have the links to all of the devices there. Thank you for joining today.